Hey guys, we're back. Oh, is that a Wii sensor bar on top of your TV? Yes, yeah. it fucking is. <laughs> we use it to play Wii games. Oh, I need to get new batteries. Well, yeah, well, the thing is, we can't put it anywhere else because it won't... We tried putting it, like, on the table of the TV. It wouldn't do it, so we had to put it on top of the TV, and that's the only way it'll fucking work. Oh, yeah, I did the fucking... Lower, lower, uh, lower your camera a little bit. Come on. Oh, shit. Uh, we need cardboard to kind of hold it oh, down. Oh, hold up, hold up. I got it, I got it. I got it, I got it. Where is it? All right. Oh. There we go. Is that going to be any enough? I don't think it'll be enough. Is that good, Zler? Yeah, it's fine. All right. Hold up. Bro, right, here you go. Use that. That better? Oh, yeah, that's perfect. Alright, cool. Oh, that's right. I fucking. Yeah, you gotta. <laughs> the drop off mission, that's right. Didn't you finish that already, though? Yeah, yeah, no, now I gotta go I back. Keep, I keep accidentally calling my Torino Grand Torino. Your <laughs> Grand Torino! Who fucking my hero? Who's <laughs> my hero? I'm just gonna call you Grand Torino. <laughs> I'm just gonna call him James Woods from now on. James Woods! That's really who he is. I know, that's the voice of the character, I know. Yeah, just like you called Tenpenny, uh, what's his name? I forgot what his name is. Tom Petty? Tenpenny, Frank Tenpenny's voice actor. Oh, um, Samuel Jackson? Yeah, 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 Samuel L. Jackson. Alright, you're gonna hate Mike Torino, by the way. I, I bet we will. He's the one that gives you the flight school mission. Wait, Vernon Meadows. Meadows. No, this isn't it. You'll know. I pray to God this wasn't actually legit shit that he's just saying. Because Rockstar would be in big trouble right now. <laughs> Then again, the government's been on Rockstar's ass a lot, so I wouldn't be shocked if what that guy said right there is actually what legit happened behind the scenes of the government. We gotta go to the fucking airstrip they, and they buy it. Make a rate an age rating specifically because of the Grand Theft Auto. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. No, no, no. Mortal Kombat was the one that fucking uh, made it. But made like, it. But, but they had to I'm put GTA... Sure, I'm pretty sure that Grand Theft Auto is the only game that you have to confirm your age for. If yeah. you want to buy in stores. Yeah, no, Mortal Kombat, you can just buy it because... But for GTA, back then, you actually had to confirm your age. Well, because there's a difference between ripping people to shreds in a fighting game... And murdering prostitutes after receiving their service. And then taking drugs, so... Big difference. Well, think about it this way. The whole plot line of GTA San Andreas is taking down a crack palace. Yeah. And the whole crack e epidemic. Yeah. And GTA San Andreas actually does, it was inspired by true events, uh... Yeah. Uh, I think it has to do with... Yeah, it's based off the actual crash of the Los Angeles Police Department. 
Yeah, I and think. The corrupt officers behind it. Wait, and didn't the, uh, uh, the 1992 riots? I swear they're gonna. They did a movie, or they're going to do a movie about that. They should make a fucking San Andreas movie. You bet your ass I'd watch it. Oh hell yeah! Oh yeah! yeah. Well, a lot of other people would too. Oh yeah, Zilla, you know what's crazy? Um Oh my goodness. This oh. place is the root of all evil. Wait a minute. This place is the root of all evil. Don't tell me this is who I think it is, House. We no. bought we we literally this, where, this this place is where the No, you're 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 gonna have nightmares about this place. It's gonna have to do with. I still TV. have nightmares fighting against Mega Man, Cuphead, and Mysterious Moves and Castle bosses. What and could this Rest game? Rain bosses. What the fuck could all the? What could this game do that all of those games haven't? Haven't already done to him mentally. Two words: flight school. <laughs> right on cue. <laughs> right. What? Oh, dear. He's like, guess what the next mission is? Welcome to flight school. You're going to fly an actual plane, bro. Welcome to flight school. Oh, Jesus Christ. You're going to fucking hate this. This is required, so don't think you can skip school. Oh. Shit. Zach, press L to retract the... <laughs> this is gonna take a while. This is gonna take a while. If you take any damage whatsoever, it's an automatic fail, by the way. You're shitting me. See? See? I'm just going down! Oh, what the if fuck you're is this? With the first mission, you're, oh, you're being for a wild ride. Uh, oh man! He's like, are you ready to play Super Star Fox? Superman sixty four. Go up. Go the fuck up. Go up. Super Go up. Superman 64 on drugs. Oh, well, there you go. <laughs> CJ. He couldn't get the plane to go up. Hold up. Ship <laughs> Honestly, right now, this might actually make you rage quit. Oh, it might. This might go be up. Go up. Okay, I think you're high enough. No, you're not. Ooh. You steer with Eleanor. Don't worry, you're not timed. That's the one good saving grace that you're. <laughs> you just gotta get a seventy percent or above to pass. You don't need to get perfect. Well, you're screwed. If you hit something, you're finished. <gasps> yeah, this is gonna be a long night. I mean, you don't really have to do flight school now. Because there are other missions available. Because trust me, I didn't do flight school until I had to do it in order to go through the story and there was no missions left. But if you want to do some now and save the rest later, that's up to you. Or just... Skip it for now entirely. That's up to you. Oh, no, I, I. There's a part of My me is, that how the fuck needs you? to fucking do. This is like. Oh no! You think no? This is considered the easy, the easy one. You just have to learn to 
use the plane. Once you get used to the shitty controls of this airplane, it gets easier. Like, pulling up and going up is, I think, it might be the hardest thing to do, because it wants you to go all the way up to the top and of that stone. Now, just wait until they have you start shooting things How in that Zlir, airplane. did you ever go up to that ring at that point? I went through every single ring. Oh, no. Nah. How did you get the plane to go up? You don't force it up. It goes up gradually. Just like a regular plane. You can't just force a plane to go up instantly. You're just gonna have to like, physics for it. See? See? Yeah. It's going up. Yeah, you're just there gonna you have go. to like point there up and go. then it goes up. It, you have to steadily work your way. <laughs> you're not timed, so don't worry about it. <laughs> just, just don't run into anything. See? There you go. There you go. You're good doing it. I'm gonna shit my own. I'm gonna shit my own ass. There you go. That was it. Oh, We mean him pass. He's two percent lower than the than the bare minimum he's supposed to get. Are you fucking kidding okay, me? I think depending on how long you take affects your score. So you technically are timed, but you're not. That's bullshit. So yeah, don't yank your plane up. Just it'll steadily go up. You have to get rid of, you just, you have to get used to these jank ass controls. They're actually a lot better than the, uh, toy plane that we were operating in supply lines. Oh, hell yeah, a lot better. Oh, uh. Yes! Oh, yes! If you want to 100% San Andreas, you have to get 100% score in every single class. Including we are doing that. But in order to complete the story of this game, that's not required.